Hello everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to our tutorial series. Um, we've got a nice little base started here. Fluid handling research is complete. Uh, so what shall we do next? Let's do... let's do heavy armor. Uh, I mentioned before that the armor, even though we don't need them in this playthrough, will give us more inventory slots, and that would be something nice to have. Okay, so uh, next order of business is steel production. And uh, I want to get the steel going so that we can start to produce steel furnaces so that we can get the rest of our smelting operation set up. All right, so um, let's see. Let's bring our coal line up here. Okay, that was fast. Uh, modular armor, take some other stuff. All right, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of stuff. Actually, I, I oh, we need steel for the heavy armor. All right, yeah, light armor doesn't give us any more. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if the heavy armor gives us any more slots, but we'll see. All right. So now we got some coal. All right. So like I said before, one of these is going to be for coal, and one of these is going to be for the steel coming out. Um, and then these belts here are going to be for uh, coal and iron ore. But first, let's do this part because this is this is a little complicated. Um, I am going to need more iron, so let me come down here and grab some iron plate, so we can make make more splitters. Okay. So as as we did before, uh, we're going to have uh, two opposed splitters to put coal and iron ore on these belts. And I'm gonna put that right there uh, to kind of get it out of the way. And then over here, uh, I need coal coming across. So what we can do is just put an underground belt and have coal running there. Uh, and then we'll have another underground belt with coal there like we usually have. Okay, and then we'll bring in iron ore up here. So actually let's put another underground and iron is gonna go there. And um, we can we could either split the iron ore off of this, or we can grab it from these patches. I think I'll just bring it over from these patches, since they are close by. So let me make, uh, <clears throat> we'll make 10 mining drills to start with, while we start configuring the rest of this. All right, so in the case of steel, uh, it's made by smelting iron plates. And if you look at the recipe, uh, steel takes 17.5 seconds and five iron plates. One iron plate takes three and a half seconds. Uh, so five iron plates is 15 plus five times 0.5, 17 and a half seconds, All right? So in the time it takes to make five iron plates, you can make one steel plate. And that gives us a perfect one-to-one -one ratio on furnaces. So if we make iron plate here and then feed it into this furnace, then this furnace will make steel plate and spit it out the other side. In this case, we're going to use uh, long inserters here to get the steel out onto this belt. And then we're going to use a regular inserter here to get the coal into that furnace. That's why we have two lines here. Okay, and then on the other side, it's going to reverse. 
we're going to have the coal coming down with the red inserter and the steel coming out with the yellow. And then this part here, you know, this row of furnaces that we're going to have on the outside is just like it was in the iron smelting. All right, and that's how that's going to be set up. So um, let's go ahead and get some power brought up. And let's see, there we go. All right, now in this case, we're gonna need two rows of power poles to make this run. So it'll be like that. Okay, and by the calculations I made, we need 46 furnaces making steel, which would be two rows of 23. Let's just do two rows of 24, uh, just like we've done elsewhere. Um, although in this case, it'll be four rows of 24. All right, so that's three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, uh, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 24. Is that right? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, and then I'll show you a quicker way this can be done. Let's put down our power poles here. All right, now if we put down the power poles first for the next row, uh, then we can just click and drag the furnaces and it should theoretically be faster to do it that way. Uh, since they can't get placed where their power poles are, that makes it a little bit quicker. All right, and then we just lay in the belts. Uh, let's extend our walking path here. good okay and I think on the other on the other lines we had a light right there all right so let's uh, let's bring in some iron ore all right and we'll tap into this one first uh, no that's not good Well, I guess I'll go ahead and put it there. This one is not gonna last very long uh, since it's only touching a few uh, a few pieces there. Need a few more belts. We'll go ahead and handcraft those for now and then we'll go back and get some more at the base. There we go. And then we put in our power. And as a matter of fact, let's make a few more drills just so that we can completely cover this patch and extract everything we can get from it. All right, and then we'll run the power over from here as well to tap into our power supply like that. Speaking of power, looks like we still have plenty, so I'm not too concerned about that yet. Okay, and I think this needs to be, yeah, needs to be one closer. Okay, screwed that up a little bit. All right, so let's put some more drills down. Put another pole there. And then we can get a few more drills over there on that side. I'll go ahead and pick those two up. Again, they're not gonna last very long anyway. And I need some more belts. All right, so now in this case, I've got two belts that I need to merge into one. So I'll just use a splitter there. Um, 
However, this is not going to be balanced on both sides of the belt. As long as they're not backing up, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but if we wanted to, we could force these to balance two sides of the belt. Let me move this pole here. By doing that. Um, so effectively what we're doing here is we're taking half of everything that comes in on that side, half on that side, and then we put those on two sides of a belt. Uh, and that way this belt coming out will be evenly balanced on both sides. We'll have the same amount of ore on both sides of the belt. Again, it's not that important right now because these belts are not really close to being full. Um, but if the belts, uh, for example, if one belt was completely full on one side, you might want to do that just so that it, uh, you get the maximum amount of throughput here onto this belt. Okay, so we can see we're already starting to make some steel. So obviously uh, the next step here is going to be uh, to finish putting down these inserters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to finish up this whole line and uh, I'll show it to you when we come back. I'll be back in a few. All right, and we're back. And we have a completely full steel line running now. Um, looks like I need one more section of belt there to get that fuel in. And we're all set. Okay, so steel is done. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we will come back and upgrade this to red belts and steel furnaces as well at some point, but not yet. Um, now I want to bring that belt down to join the main bus. So let's space this out. We're going to need three more belts of iron and then I'm going to leave two spaces. So we'll bring the steel down here. Um, and I, I don't think that this quantity of furnaces is going to, even when it's upgraded to steel furnaces, I don't think it's going to be enough to fill a red belt on the output because they're so slow. So we might not have to upgrade the output belt, um, but the input belts we will. Uh, we can see already that we're using up all the iron that we had available. Checking our power again, we're still doing fine. Um, we can see now that, that this is running, that the ore is not quite making it all the way down to the end. Um, so we'll definitely need to get some more mining drills in there at some point. But this should give us what we need uh, to get things going. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this power pole so that we're not impeded. And we'll bring this down here. So these two are for circuits. Those two are for circuits. I think we'll put steel right there. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and extend this down. I'll just take it all the way up to the end of where our other belts are. Um, and then I'm gonna bring stone brick down as well because one of the things that I wanna get started is the automatic production of steel furnaces so that we can start to upgrade and replace some of these. Uh, let me grab some more belt first. And uh, I need those inserters as well. Um, I do have a few extra science packs. I'm just going to come over here and press the Z key. Uh, Z is the key you can use to drop things. So I'll just drop those onto the belt. And, uh, oh, speaking of that, we need to do some research. Uh, let's see. Let's do, let's do logistics too. That way we can start making red belts. Um, because I would like to put in those new smelting lines with red belts as well. That way we won't have to go back later and upgrade all the belts and upgrade all the furnaces. We'll just set it up that way from the beginning. Okay. So now, uh, Temporarily, at least, we can start making our furnaces over here. 
All right, so again, uh, I'm going to give myself eight tiles of room. So right here is where we'll put our first machine with the belts coming up this way. Let's move that over one more. There we go. All right. So let's see what it takes to make steel furnaces. Six steel plates and 10 stone bricks and three seconds. All right. So I think we can, how many seconds? Three seconds. All right. So I'm going to put, we need 16 items every three seconds. Um, a blue inserter can move a little over two per second with no upgrades. And I don't think we have any upgrades yet. We can check here by clicking on this plus sign. All right, we don't have any bonus yet. Um, so I'm just gonna put three there. It's still not gonna be fast enough to keep this thing running nonstop. But uh, it'll be okay for now. All right, and then this can be a shared belt between stone brick and steel. All right, so let's start by bringing up the steel. I'm just gonna try to line this up if I can by eye. And then the stone brick. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this is going to be one, two, and then three, and then four. So we can put our first underground belt there. And when you're doing underground belts, if you just hold down the left mouse button and run with it, it'll automatically uh, place down the other end. What did I do wrong here? All right, let me try that again. I got my spacing off somehow. One, two, three, th oops, three spaces. One, two, three, four. Ah, I think this is, yeah, this is not lined up right. I need to bring these down one more. That's why it wasn't lining up pro properly. And then those are in the wrong place too. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, so I need to pick this up. And I need to move this as well. I'll go ahead and leave that hooked up. Um, that way it'll drain this belt out, and then once that belt is empty, I'll come back and pick it up. All right, so one, two, three, four, and then the underground goes here. Sorry about that. Okay. And then we will output this to a box. Now, I'm going to need quite a lot of furnaces. Uh, I'm going to need close to 100 just for the steel line. I'm going to need 164. All right, there's logistics too. Um, let's do engine. Let's do energy distribution. This gives us bigger power poles. It's a good one to have. All right, so I'm going to limit this to a couple of stacks. Um, and we'll just let that work for a while. And then we'll come back and pick up some furnaces. Um, and so I'm going to let that run for now uh, to get some furnaces. And then when that's done, I'm going to come back here and start placing down some furnaces for our other smelting lines. Uh, I am also going to 
add more mining drills to the ore patches. Uh, I'll basically just cover these ore patches that we have with mining drills so that we get more ore coming in. I'll probably have to add more coal as well. Um, and we can see that our power is getting close to maxed out. So I'm also going to finish the rest of these boilers and steam engines so that we have one complete line. Um, so I will do all of that before the next episode. And uh, if you are playing along, please do the same. So we'll kind of be at the same spot. And then in the next episode, what we'll do is we're going to start setting up an area over here that will be uh, making all the base supplies. So uh, that's what some people would call a make everything area. Uh, some people call it a shopping mall. Um, I generally try to avoid malls like the plague. So uh, I prefer the make everything area or the supplies area myself. Uh, but we'll get that set up. So we'll be making belts, we'll be making lights, inserters, just all the various things that we need to build up the rest of our base. Now that we have most of the components that we're going to need for that. Until then, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.